Hello everyone, it's Tim from Fibiansiv and today we're going to be talking about the Beta 5 updates. Uh, I like to do these videos now uh, just to explain why we do these updates. They are to improve quality. Um, I'm not doing it for downloads, I just want the model to be as good as it can be. Um, so the first thing that we've updated is the uh, spindle. You can see the spindle here on top of this uh, bamboo spool. If I put this on top here and just put it into the hole, you can see it's quite loose in there. Now, uh, the reason that this is loose is I actually print using uh, other spools that are the same diameter as bamboo spools, and I figured it would be good at launch to try and um, uh, be jack of all trades, but master of none. So this one fits uh, pretty much anything with the same diameter. Uh, maybe there are some weird spools out there with, with a smaller uh, inner diameter hole in the middle, but... Uh, this lives on as the uh, generic spool clamp option, so do not throw it away, keep it somewhere. This is the new clamp right here. Um, so it is made to fit the bamboo spools really well, so you can see that there's uh, doesn't really move there very much. Um, it has a nice rounded edge because it is you know, as wide as this hole, we want it to be easy to put on. So, uh, and because you you can't see this while you're putting it on, uh, we've put a rounded edge just to make it a little bit easier. There are some supports there, like these bits shouldn't bend; it's two millimeters wide, but we brace them just in case somebody has problems because this is under tension. There's also a label. I don't know if you can see that because I'm still using a rubbish camera. The new camera is in the post still. Um, it says bamboo spools on the side there, so that you can identify when there are different adapters. So. There'll definitely be an extruder one. Okay, this is the old clamp that, that you know and probably do not like very much. Um, it has the same kind of problem. You put it in the middle and there's rather a lot of space there. That makes it really hard to put on. Uh, put on straight exactly without a bit of effort. So what we have done, just like the uh, inner spool clamp, we created a new spool clamp. It fits this really well. So there's virtually no play there at all, you can see, and uh, also uh, the direction of opening and closing is now labelled. Um, again, I'm not sure if you can see that with my with my bad camera in my tiny photo box, but uh, there is some text on there showing you which direction, because, it's, because it is a reverse thread, and we all forget that sometimes, including me. It is quite hard to see, but there's also some nice text on the side of this saying bamboo spools. It looks quite tidy. To design this we did uh, lots of fit testing, so we printed out these rings here. Uh, often when you print things they come out slightly different size, you know 0.1mm or less difference, sometimes more depending on the plastic and your print setting. So we use these to test the fitment of the clamps inside the spool. We went through a couple of iterations of this part and uh, another thing that we added as well as the text were the um, extra, extra lips on these tabs here. I found it quite hard sometimes to reach the tabs or, or not as easy it could, as it could have been so we just raised those up a bit to make them a bit easier to turn. We also tested a whole bunch of spool clamps um, before ending up with our final one on the left. You know, does it stick out too much? Does it stick in too little? Is it too wide? Is it too small? Did I forget to add a screw hole? So there you go, that's what it takes to, to make a new release. One last thing, I'd like to point out Andy Thilo's uh, motorization mod of V-Spooler. It looks really cool. I love the look of this mod, especially that it's got two motors in it. Um, I've been talking to Andy and I've enjoyed working with him over the past couple of weeks to help get him out there. Um, so I recommend that you go to YouTube and watch his spool. It's a really high quality spool. It could have almost have come out of a factory. Um, and... Um, yeah, there's going to be an official motorization option coming soon. We're probably going to be looking at a NEMA 17 motor that you may have sitting about and uh, hopefully easy to source and no solder kit that you can assemble it with at home. Thank you very much. It is December the 30th and I'd like to finally wish you a happy new year.